Welcome back. And Kimberly Foster is joining us this morning with our K-PASA Borderlands segment. Welcome, first of all. How are you? I'm great, Christina. Thank right. you so much for letting me come on the show every week. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And I'm sure they're going to be great out there when you tell us what you have in store. I sure do. I have a great event coming up this Friday, January 19th at 7.30 a.m. I know it's early, but it's for a good cause. This is the Ride for Reading event. Um, this There is um, over 50 cyclists, local cyclists, okay. who partnered with a Nashville, Tennessee-based nonprofit to deliver books to uh, students at Douglas Elementary. School. The ride, um, they're going to start loading everything up at 7.30 a.m. at Crazy Cat, which okay. is located on Stanton Street, and then they'll ride down to Douglas Elementary School and arrive at approximately 9 a.m. These cyclists are here to, you know, let the children know that uh, they should get outdoors, be healthy, ride their bike. And it's also encouraging literacy as well. Yeah, Each reading student, is important for kids. Right? You want to let them know that. And I can't even imagine when the, when the kids, when they get there, how the kids are going to react to that. Do they have any clue that they're coming? I think they do know, and they do get two books oh, per nice. student. So nice, it is nice. wonderful. All right. Well, that is definitely for a good cause. What yep. else do you And then uh, Sun City on Tap. I don't know if you're a beer drinker, but uh, this is going to be a really cool event. First time in El Paso, uh, Town Square Media and a up to host this event out at Southwest University Events Center. Okay. Saturday, January 17th. There are two different times that you can go out. It's from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it's $35 per ticket. There will be more than 100 beers to sample. From really? 50 breweries around the world. Eight samples of beer. Okay. And then you can purchase more if you'd like. Uh, souvenir glasses will be handed out, live music, and there's also a designated driver ticket as well, which is especially important. Wow. So people can really go in there and enjoy their beer. Yes, they can. It's going right. to be a lot of so fun. So out there for that. And then on Monday morning, uh, most people have the day off since it's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, the City of El Paso Parks and Recreation Department is hosting a two-mile free walk okay. at 10 a.m. at the Galatson Recreation Center located on Wallenberg Drive. Uh, this is going to be just a fun event for the community to come out in remembrance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his legacy of uh, civil rights and equal rights for not just for African Americans, but for all of us. Right, and have been to um, a lot of those events here in El Paso, and it's always just so fulfilling and, and just talking to people. It's, it's just a great, great event to go to. It really is. And then uh, last event that I want to mention, coming up into the next week on Friday, January 23rd. Okay. If you don't catch it this on Friday, you can catch it until February 1st. It is Romeo and Julieta. Wow. This okay. is, a this is yeah, a little different spin, a little local flavor. This is put on by KCOS in partnership with Shakespeare on the Rocks. So we'll do a bilingual adaptation of the beloved Shakespeare classic, Romeo and Juliet. The Montagues speak English, the Capulets speak Spanish. Wow. And it's just kind of a cool event that contextualizes it um, and gives it a local kind of famil familiar feel of our city. So um, this takes place Friday, January 23rd at 7 p.m. at the Lafay Cultural and Technology Center located one Ochoa, and it's in the rear building. And then um, next week, I'll talk about two more places you can see it. And where can people get more of this information? I know we, we do it very quickly here, but if I want to know a little bit more, where would they go? You can go to our website, which is uh, destinationalpaso.com. You can either select the Visit El Paso tab or the El Paso Live tab. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Christina. All right. Well, we will be right back. Don't go away.